What is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and yes, we're back again with yet again another unboxing video. This time it's of the Samsung Galaxy Express 3 4G LTE from AT&T Go Phone. Now it's been a while since AT&T has released a new slate of Go Phones, but they recently just dropped the Samsung Galaxy Express 3 as well as the Galaxy Express Prime which is next in line for review but we're going to start with this one so I don't know if uh, they've been paying attention but I think they heard our recent videos where we talked about the annoying boxes of these AT&T Go phones and so they did redesign this casing which I do like here now the casing you get from Best Buy is this one and uh, the casing you get from the actual AT&T store will be an actual box but I go with these because most people don't go into the AT&T store to buy these due to the fact that they will not sell you these in the store unless you have a GoPhone plan. And a lot of us don't have GoPhone plan. We just have uh, other carriers that use AT&T towers such as Straight Talk, Net10. I'm not sure if Net10 does that, but a couple other carriers, Cricket. And uh, also, before we get into this box team, this is the same phone as the Galaxy Amp Prime if you're interested. But let's get into this unboxing. So you can see that this phone does come with Android 6.0 Marshmallow. So that's a first for the channel. A first, our first Android 6.0 Marshmallow phone here. Up to eight gigabytes internal and up to 128 gigabytes expandable. I hope that doesn't mean eight gig phone. Maybe it does, but this was $79.99 to, to let you guys know. 4.5 inch WVGA Super AMOLED screen. So that's gonna come in at a resolution of 800 by 480. So we're going back to the Samsung Galaxy S2 days with this screen resolution. That doesn't mean it's a bad screen though. Um, we have the five megapixel autofocus camera on the rear with a two megapixel front facing camera. So it doesn't look too interesting here, but you know what? A lot of people are going to be picking this up as a backup phone and we're gonna get into this anyway. So we do, you know, rip off the tab. Nothing too interesting with the box. Although I do give them props for getting rid of that old circular box, but let's see what's on the inside. So let's pull this casing out real quick. Just give me a second. Yeah, this is a lot cleaner experience right here. We don't need that. Let's get that out of here. And uh, let's pull this tab off clean. So this is easy to get into now. Thank you, at and I hope you guys continue to make boxes like this. So first impressions of the phone is that it feels cheap. Okay, it feels like a Galaxy Core Prime. So if you watch my Core Prime review, that's my first impression so far, just touching it for the first time. So you get a tab, you know what you guys wanna do with this, trash it, keep it for you know future selling of your device. And you do get some quick start guides here. Start here, AT&T Go Phone, user guide, as well as the you know Express 3 logo. Now they do try to you know market it with some Samsung Galaxy S3 wall, or S7 wallpaper. But do not be fooled, this is not even close to an S7. It might be a budget version, but it's not even that. That would be a Galaxy S7 Mini. So we do have our battery here. This is going to be, I don't know how much ampere hours this is. We're gonna have to pull that out real quick. But this is the charging port right here. Typical Samsung stuff, same charger look that they've been having since the days of the Samsung Galaxy S, the S2 days. So pretty, you know, standard stuff here. USB cord, but I do like that it's white, you know, gives it a little more flair than the black, you know, standard cables. But I'm gonna come back in just a second once I got this guy booted up here and just show you the first impressions and first look of the device. So I did notice before we do turn this guy on that this is a 2050 milliamp hour battery, but for a phone this size, that's a pretty large battery, I would say. So the power button to turn this guy on is located on the right side, but we'll talk more about all the buttons and everything in the full review. But my first impressions, like I say, it's very, you know, plasticky feeling, typical Samsung stuff of the past. Um, the design itself is pretty modern. It's a little bit sleek. I wouldn't, you know, deny that. But it's still in line with something like the Galaxy Core Prime, Galaxy Grand Prime, just a slightly more modern than that. But we are gonna do a full review of this guy. Just dropped today, but you can see the AT&T logo. Not today, my bad. It just dropped on the May 6th, so it's only been out for a little while. So let's set this up. I'm just gonna skip through these steps real quick, just so we can get into the home screens. First to boot, the screen looks very similar to the, uh, what's it, what is that? The Samsung Galaxy S3 Mini. So if you remember that device, very similar to that device, the Galaxy S3 Mini. So it's an older AMOLED technology, but AMOLED's always nice to have on a, you know, a cheaper phone because AMOLED does make the colors pop, but that's totally a personal preference. It's still not even HD here, 
So that's not really cool there. But anyway, let's just kind of skip through this if we can here. I don't know why it's not letting me skip through that. If this takes too long, I will skip through. But it does look like you do have the Samsung, you know, the newer keyboard and stuff like that. But we're gonna see what the software looks like in just a second once we get through here. Let's go to next, 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 next. Let's see what happened there. All right guys, so we're in the device and you can see that it does have a very Samsung Galaxy S7 lock screen like feel, but the icons are themed out like the G Note 4. So you have the wallpapers of the G S7, but the icons of the G Note 4. A little bit weird there, but that's cool. Nothing wrong with being weird around these parts. Oops. You do have the um, S7 notification tray here on the device. But we're not going to get too much into there. Let's just go and confirm that we are running the latest great greatest version of Android, which is Marshmallow. Now that's a plus in my opinion. In my book, that's a plus because that keeps you pretty much up to date all year long here, just having Marshmallow out of the box. So you do got 6.0.1 here. So that is a selling feature right there, having the latest and greatest software. First impressions feel smooth, but there's no apps on it. So that's not really, you know, fully indicative of the actual device. So what are your thoughts on the Galaxy Express 3? Go ahead and drop those down below. Anything you guys wanna see in the full review, please be sure to leave that in the comments down below. I do get working on these quite quickly. So the quicker you leave a comment, the more likely that what you're looking to see in this full review will be featured. So I will catch you all in the next episode. Be sure to be well. Click the like button for me if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because we got the full review coming soon and more technology content. Catch you all in the next one. Be well and peace.